I just think you're a really cool island, and I'd like to get to know... Oh, God! Oh, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. You're just so pretty. Please, don't tell the other islands. We're going to use some of this thick set. It's supposed to uh, get inside the grain a little bit better. Um, takes a, about two or three days to set up, but it goes crystal clear and there's less bubbles. And I want to get into these cracks real good with this. All right, I'm pouring a 1600 gram pour. The reason I'm doing that is this is supposed to be good for deep casting and large casting and I want to see if we can do it without cracking the casting. This stuff is a lot thinner than the two-in-one. It's very watery. Let me see if you can see this. Right here, look at that. It's like water. Damn. I glued that down. It did not stay. I'm going to take it out and redo it. Or, I got another idea. Alright, I put a piece of just like this one in here and weighted it down. That should work. So, let's get this all covered up. Well, there's no cracks, but that wood definitely sucked up the resin. So, here it is. You can see in my snipples, but it sucked that resin right up. So, we got to do at least another large pour here. So, let's do it. What in the world's going on right there? Do you see that? It's bubbling. That's weird. I mean, it's like it's like it didn't have anything up in there. Can you see that? <laughs> That's awesome. Got some good uses for out of this $2 bucket. <laughs> it happens. I'll sand this flat and then we'll use it. I thought this was pretty interesting. You see this part right here and this part? Well, this thick set sucked into the wood all the way to a point and, and it looks like it's about two inches in. Um, so I'm getting to these little areas or areas where it didn't penetrate, but look at how far it went in. It penetrated way in there. That is so cool. All right, let's get back to it.
I don't know what this is. I just came back out here from yesterday. But it's seeping out of the wood. I don't know what the hell that is. That's this apple wood. I've used it a dozen times. I think it might be resin. And of course, OB Shine Juice. All right, come on over here, guys. Okay, it's at this time that I figure out that I used the wrong turning blank. I used one that was not dried. Uh, so, I had to uh, try to dry it. What I did is I took it over to my oven, put it in the oven for about, uh, about two or three hours at 220 degrees. Did exactly what I thought it was going to do, so check out this next clip. Alright, so I had to dry this for some reason. I think I grabbed a piece that wasn't dry, so it's not dry. But here's what happens when you dry wood after you cast. See that crack right there? Goes all the way around, all down here, all the way around about right there. And then there's a big crack here, some cracks on the bottom. So, don't tell anybody, but we're going to recast this. In order to save resin, I put this bowl in here. I'm gonna pull this back and put resin in here. And hopefully it'll just go around the outside. We'll see how this works. All right, I've mixed up a new batch. So I'm gonna pour it in in just a minute. All right, this thing's been recast and I've sawed off a little bit trying to get it as even as I can. So what we're going to do, we're going to return this bad boy. All those cracks that happened when I heated it up should be gone. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully it'll look good.
All right, you missed it, but I added this because I'm having trouble getting the scratches off. So I'm going to put that on, let that dry, and then I'll sand it. Oh, be shine juice.